U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar made a stop at the Mississippi headwaters today to celebrate a new federal law designed to stop the spread of invasive carp. During her visit, the senator highlighted why closing a lock in downtown Minneapolis will help Minnesota's economy. Catherine Silver has the story. Minnesota is known for its beautiful lakes and waterways, but these waters are threatened by the spread of aquatic invasive species. We take our clean water and our uh, native species very uh, seriously. U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar and members of several agencies met at the Mississippi headwaters today to celebrate a step forward in the battle against one non-native species in particular, Asian carp. That Asian carp is one of the biggest, worst nightmares you can imagine. We got a federal law passed uh, banning uh, these species from coming up by closing a lock. The new federal law will close the Upper St. Anthony Falls lock in one year to keep the invasive carp from spreading upstream. We've seen DNA in southern Minnesota and that's why the lock closure, while somewhat dramatic, was the only way to protect the lakes up here. Senator Klobuchar says the lock in downtown Minneapolis is a good point to stop the carp. It was a lock that wasn't used as much as, say, the St. Paul lock. Uh, it was probably the last big lock where we could protect the river. Fishing and boating industries contribute around $4 billion to Minnesota's economy each year, and Senator Klobuchar says that closing this lock will help prevent invasive carp from having a devastating impact on our fisheries. Given the importance of the fishing industry up here and the importance of tourism, it was a very smart thing to do. And it's everybody's issue that we need to work together with. And although the new law helps this issue, officials are hopeful that more research will help permanently fix this problem in the future. Catherine Silver, Lakeland News. And lawmakers hope to find more funding for research programs at the University of Minnesota to find a way to kill the carp without harming other native species. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.